Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are talking all Vosti knives. Now, as you guys know, over the past year and a half, two years, Vosti really burst onto the scene with a couple really awesome offerings, and since then have put together quite the impressive body of work, a body of work that I truly think is right up there with Civivi and Kaiser. I, I truly think Civivi, Kaiser, and Vosti are, without a doubt, the three best budget knife brands in the industry right now um, based off quality, selection, price, variety. That There's so many good things um, about those three brands. And today we're talking, like I said, just about Vosteed. And if you have been thinking about a Vosteed, if you're not sure about, uh, you've been thinking about adding one to the collection, this is the video for you because we are going to be taking a look at every single Vosteed model and ranking them from my least favorite to my favorite. Now, a couple quick notes before we get started. When I say every model, I mean every, like every name. For example, like uh, the, the Raccoon, for example. There's a button lock version, there's a crossbar lock version. We're gonna talk about just the Raccoon as the Raccoon design or the Nightshade. There's like three or four different variants of the Nightshade. We're talking about just the Nightshade. So we're gonna be ranking all nine of Vosteed's current EDC folding knife options. And man, oh man, when I went back and put this list together, it was so stinking hard because number nine, a couple of minute changes could easily put number nine into my top five. Like it's so ridiculously close and it just goes to talk on just how good every one of these knives really is. They're not all perfect. I definitely have some complaints and you will hear those complaints in this video, um, but there's also a lot of really good things. So let's get into it real quick. This is what you get if you get a Vosti. You get you get a lot of, the, you, it, it's a fun experience unboxing a Vosti, especially for such a low price. Almost everyone comes in under a hundred dollars and you get a nice tin, you have the pouch, you get a cloth, Normally you get a patch. I don't know if you always get a patch, but I've been seeing a lot of these in here and you'll get stickers and certificates and stuff like that. So it's just a really fun little experience. And of course that's all in this little flimsy box here that's stuck in there, but I didn't want to put that in the video because it glared from the light. So that's the only reason. All right, let's get into it. Coming in at number nine is the Vosti Corgi. Now, some of you may be really surprised about this because the Corgi was uh, a really big hit. It's actually out of stock. And I'm also going to be listing every one of these knives, whether they're in stock or out of stock. Because that was one of a lot of people's complaints is, oh, Vosteeds are always out of stock. Well, as of right now, at the time I upload this video, six of these nine knives are available. And the link's going to be below. So I don't want to keep hearing that complaint. Like, Vosteeds doing the best they can. They've had multiple drops. And they're going to keep making them. If, they, if you guys keep buying them, they're going to keep making them. So um, more is coming for the ones that are out, but this is the Corgi here. And what we have is a price point of 59 bucks, 14C 28N, a 2.99 inch blade, and you get the Trek lock in terms of a button lock. I'm gonna differentiate between the, an actual regular button lock and the Trek lock, because I do think there are some advantages to this Trek lock. I've said it plenty before, I'll say it again one more time real quick. Uh, the difference between the truck lock is the actual lock, the plunge of the button that goes into the blade is fully submerged. As you can see, if you look in here, you can't see the actual button lock portion anywhere. It's completely inside the bottom area of the blade. So you have a full 100% circular lock, which is more, it is stronger than your typical button lock, but I don't have any issues with a regular button lock. I, I do want to specify that. I think but regular button locks are good too. Um, but this is just an excellent, simple, and casual design. Um, I, I really do love the aesthetics of it, and I love this blade. The one thing that I really don't like is this clip. I'll be honest, on this knife, this particular design, the reason it's number nine is because of this clip, and I think this clip sucks on this knife um, for two reasons. One, I don't like a satin clip when everything else is nice and stonewashed and dark. Like The satin just looks cheap on a knife like this. Um, that's the lesser complaint. The bigger complaint is the fact that this is has a front flipper on it. Now, why is that an issue? Because this is such a low profile clip. The fact that it's very low profile and, and fully recessed and deep carry, that's all nice, but it really makes it hard to deploy that front flipper. Now I can do it, but I want a little extra security on this. I want a little more of a grasp on this clip and I, I don't feel like I have it. I can get some, but again, I'm putting all my efforts, all my attention, all my focus into deploying this blade right now. So I can do it pretty easily, 
But what I, what I focus on is when I'm using the knife in my day to day, when I pull out of my pocket, how easy is it for me to pull out of my pocket and front flip it? Um, it's not as easy as it looks in this video because I, I, I'm looking for something to secure my fingers on, to grab onto, and it's such a nice sleek design, that's difficult to do sometimes. Now the flipper, the flipper's fantastic and the action of this knife is crazy smooth, very fidgety, very good, as most button locks, but especially, especially Vosti button locks, they really do an excellent job with not only their fit and finish, but especially their action as well. I think a lot of people who own a Vosti would vouch for that. Um, so that is number nine, the Vosti Corgi, 59 bucks, an excellent offering for 59 bucks. This is actually one of the three that are not available. This is fully out of stock right now, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, but moving on, next up at number eight is a fantastic one. This is the Vosti Bellamy. Now this guy here is coming in at $79, 154cm steel, 3.44 inch blade, and this one here is a liner lock. And I tell you, I know the button locks, the craze, everyone loves a good button lock. There is still a lot to be said for a very well done liner lock with that type of drop shutting action. It's, it's just fidget bliss when you have a real dialed in detent and an easily, easy accessible liner lock. Um, you can do all sorts of fun things and the fuller is fantastic. The blade is razor sharp, massive, massive fidget finger, fidget factor on this guy with the fuller, uh, the much easier to use front flipper as well as the back flipper. Um, in terms of what I don't like on this knife, again, we're going back to this clip for a couple reasons. It has the same issues with the front flipper, but again, this one actually has an easier way. You have a little more handle to grab onto here. So this one is actually a lot easier for me to front flip than the Corgi because I can actually put my hand on the side of the scale here and pop this out pretty easily. Um, you can also, of course, do the reach around on it, and the regular flipper is fantastic. The detent is just phenomenal on this guy, but again, it's another one I think you could improve from a, a better clip, um, but just another really, really good, smooth operator from Vosteed, the Vosteed Bellamy, and this one is available. There are versions of this one available, and moving on, the next two knives are big boys. And this one here is the Vosti Labrador. Now this Labrador is coming in at $84. We are looking at 154 CM steel, a 3.74 inch blade, big old slab of steel, another liner lock. And I tell you, the liner locks coming out of Vosti are crazy smooth. You gotta be careful when you're moving that liner lock down, you gotta be quick because they'll drop on you. They are guillotine good and I, <laughs> I'm trying not to catch myself, but yeah, it's it's very, very nice, smooth action. Uh, thumb stud is fantastic on this. You can, of course, also do the middle finger flick. And this one is kind of tricky. Like, I don't actually, usually I love front flippers. This is a knife to where it shouldn't have both of these. It either needs a regular flipper or just the front flipper because the, the, or it needs a different type of flipper on the back. Maybe something more like uh, the Gator that you're gonna be seeing here pretty soon. Um, maybe more of a upstanding flipper instead of one that comes out to the back because sometimes if you have your hand too close and you go to front flip it, the flipper can catch your finger and kind of give you that. So that's not ideal, but once you know about it, you can kind of compensate for it and, and work around it, but that's just never comfortable. It kind of diminishes the fidget factor a little, even though the action is still absolutely fantastic on this guy. Um, ergos are great. Contoured micarta and uh, recessed clip. This clip is a little better. It's not quite as bad as the other two. I'm still not a huge fan of it though. Um, but man, oh man, for a, again, for a big knife, massive fidget factor, excellent design. And this one here is also currently available in stock um, and really is just a gorgeous drop point blade, an excellent big EDC knife, especially with that beautiful drop point blade shape, the Vosti Labrador. Uh, next up here is the newest, the latest and greatest Vosti. And this one here is the Gator. Now this guy, I'm gonna give you kind of the quick little review of it now because I did the unboxing. It was pretty obvious that I love this knife and I still do. Um, I, I said it was one of the best big budget EDC knives, not just this year, but ever. And it really is um, for a lot of reasons. But first let's cover the price and specs. 
Um, the Gator is coming in at 69 bucks, $69 for this for a huge slab of 14 C 28 N steel and a beautiful blade shape. I love this kind of ex exaggerated sheep's foot blade, just the way it pops out. It's just, it's powerful. It's slicey. We're looking at 14 thousandths, 14 thousandths behind the edge on this guy. And as tall of a blade as that is, this is some fantastic cutting geometry. Uh, nice, excellent plunge grind down there. This is an absolutely phenomenal knife for 69 bucks. One of the better values in the entire Vosti lineup. And this one is also still available. You got your liner lock, 3.98 inches of blade. The middle finger flick is great. The front flipper is surprisingly fantastic. The blade's so big, I hit the bottom of the cutting mat there. Good thing it's a self-healing cutting mat or this mat or this thing would be tore up. Uh, but yes, very, very smooth front flipper. Huge blade, still reach around approved. So, so good. Um, the clip's a little different, which I actually do like this clip a lot more because I don't really need this clip to operate the front flipper because the this is a slightly thicker knife and you can just hold it very easily in hand, use the handle itself, and kick that blade out. It is phenomenal. If you like big knives, and you cannot lie, you've got to try this out. You really do have to check one out for 69 bucks. I truly think it's one of the best big budget knives ever made, ever. It is literally fantastic. I do have a complaint though, and this is a very weird complaint. Um, the only time I've ever had this complaint on a knife in my entire life, but the micarta stinks on this. <laughs> the micarta has a wonky smell. And the moment I smelled this micarta, I went and grabbed all the other knives you're seeing in this video and I smelled them. <laughs> and nothing smelled bad. This one had a slight like feet smell in the micarta. It was, it was really weird. I put some beard oil on it and the smell's gone, but it was really weird. I don't know what happened. Uh, I really do think it was just in the micarta or maybe it was the oil they used. I have no idea, but it was a it was a weird smell. It wasn't one that was like really strong, but I was carrying it one day and I smelled my hand. I'm like, why why does that feel kind of like feet? And I was like, I didn't just scratch my foot. I've had my shoes on all day. What's going on? And then I was like, start smelling this. I'm like, okay, it's the knife. Very weird. So I took it apart. I cleaned it. I, I put beard oil on it. It's good now. It doesn't stink anymore, but very, very weird. So maybe that's how alligators smell. Maybe they, maybe they were really making this thing a gator. I don't know. Only bad thing I got to say about this knife though, it really is excellent. And even, even with the stench, I would 100% recommend this gator. Now, next up is one I haven't really talked much about on the channel because I'm waiting for the next drop of it. There's actually a run in process, and if you follow this channel, you will know exactly when this knife is available. And uh, what we have here is the Vosti Valkyrie. Now, this is one, it was released, and it sold out super, super quick um, because for a lot of reasons, really. First of all, it's 79 bucks, very solid price, 154 CM steel, 3.26 inch blade length, and you have that amazing Trek lock and all of its durability, and just an excellent blade shape. This is the sheep's foot, and there's also a Warncliffe version that is phenomenal. The Warncliffe is actually my favorite. I'm trying to find that right now. It's somewhere, I, I think I left it in a pair of pants or something, but I will find that, and I will have a full review of this knife coming because it truly easily is one of my all-time favorite Vosteeds. Again, not perfect with that clip. I, I really wish they would do something with this clip. I like the fact that it's deep carry. It carries great in the pocket, but this is a front flipper. You, you got to have a little more to reach on to for that, for that front flipper. I, I want a little more clip there for some real estate, for some grip. But other than that, the action is crazy good. One of the smoothest button locks I have ever handled, not just from Vosteed, ever ever in the budget category, ever in any category, ridiculously, ridiculously smooth button lock action and pretty good ergos on top of that. So all in all, excellent offering. This is currently out of stock, like I said, but as soon as they're available, you guys will know and uh, I will do my best to let you know, maybe even give you a heads up. I'm not sure. I'll, I have to kind of listen to Vosti on that, um, but I really, really am a huge fan of this. Um, a great little EDC and just a super smooth, excellent looking knife, the Vosti Valkyrie.
And the next run of this is not going to have 154 cm. I know what they're going to be using. I don't know if I can tell you, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, but the new one is coming with a different steel. Very, very exciting. The Vosti Valkyrie. And uh, next up here, we have the Vosti Grind. Now, this grind is very different, and it's just a fun knife. It's great if you like to be outside and you like... Uh, you know, working with wood and camping and, and hiking. It's just a great one to, uh, to take to any piece of wood, um, from whittling to carving to any type of outdoor use. And it's just a great EDC, EDC knife. I mean, it really is 75 bucks, 154 CM steel, 3.25 inch blade length. And this is the crossbar lock. And this actually has some, fin Ooh, I almost caught myself there. Uh, not cut, caught myself. Uh, my nail was close up here. I need to trim my nails. I could probably use this knife to trim my nails because it is stupid, stupid sharp. The Scandi grind on this is, I've said this before, I said it in the review of this knife, this is easily one of the sharpest knives I own. And out of the box, it could very well have been the sharpest. It was just a phenomenal edge that was truly zeroed out for a Scandi and it was just absolutely incredible. Um, and it's still razor, razor sharp. And I've actually used it a good amount on mostly just paper. I haven't really used this too hard. I'm still getting ready to make my video to test it on doing some wood whittling but, um, and some feather sticking. But man, oh man, this is just excellent, fantastic action. Um, pocket clip is actually okay on this one. It doesn't bother me because it's not a front flipper. So if I don't have a front flipper, this clip is actually pretty decent. I wish it was stone washed, but it's satin. That's that, whatever. But it doesn't take away from the actual knife. The knife itself is phenomenal. And uh, currently available. This one also is currently available. The Vosti Grind coming in at number four. And now, just like that, we have cracked the top three. And we're starting off with one of the original Vosti designs, and that is right here, the Vosti Nightshade. Now, I got two variants here because I want to show you both of them, but this one here is currently not available. This was the original Nightshade. This was well, this one was over $120. Bucks. It was like $129, but you got M390 steel. You got some polished micarta and some uh, copper. I believe that's copper, uh, kind of like a fake bolster up there. Just a phenomenal knife. The, the blade of the nightshade, whether you have this nightshade or this more budget-based nightshade or any nightshade knife. And this fusion cookery style blade is, is so massively underrated for EDC. It is ridiculously slicey. I think it looks great. At first, I thought it looked a little odd. I do like the blade cutout version better. I think the blade cutout looks just a little better in my opinion, but the action on both of them is just the flipper. Excellent, excellent push button action flipper. Ergos are great. Ergos are a little better on the blade cutout version because you don't have the flipper to mess with. And middle finger flick is so good. And man, oh man, you get this in hand. It's just an aggressive, slicey blade that is just fantastic. Now, the price of the Nightshade, I'm going to focus on this one because this is the one that's available. Uh, we're looking at a price of $75, 154cm, 3.25-inch blade. And, of course, you have that, uh, or I'm sorry, 3.26-inch blade, excuse me. Uh, and the liner lock, of course, which the liner lock, Vosti does such a good job with. Always an excellent lockup. Very easy to access that liner lock. It's just a breeze. Um, this is easily, I, I, I wasn't sure where the, where the nightshade was going to fall. I always knew I loved it. And, you know, when I started pulling out all these models, you know, sometimes the older ones, you forget about how good they are. And I was worried that would affect the placement of the nightshade. But when I got these all out, I was comparing them. The nightshade is still, it, it really is still one of my favorites. And it's, it is easily number three. It's just the uniqueness, the sliciness, the fidget factor, the looks, the, the feel in hand. It is an excellent little knife, uh, the Vosti nightshade. And keep your eyes peeled. I'm sure there's more versions of this coming. I'm sure they'll have more budget-based flipper variants available. Um, but it truly is a very underrated, very unique EDC knife. And now coming in at number two, we have this guy, which may very well be the best value knife on the table. And that is the Vosti Raccoon. 
And we got two versions here. We have the button lock version. Now this is not using the truck lock. This is just a regular button lock, which again, like I said, no issue there. Um, or the new crossbar lock version with some really, really good crossbar action. Um, now these knives, uh, they are both, I believe they're both $59. Um, the button lock version is currently out of stock, but the crossbar lock is actually in stock. And last time I checked, there was actually a couple of these exact versions available with all black, which I really do like this all black. Um, it's got a nice black wash. It's not a pure coating, so you get a little crackling, a little, little extra something in that. You have some really nice micarta, and you also have a different pocket clip, which I am a huge, huge fan of. Um, you have a lot more opening, uh, a little more ramp, and it just looks better in my opinion. I, I really am a fan of this clip and improvement. Um, it's a great job by Vosti. As you can see, it's it's actually even moved down a little farther to the bottom of the handle. Or is that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's moved down farther. So little tweaks make a big difference. And this knife was already fantastic before they changed the clip. Um, the button lock, it's so fidgety and so good. Um, the Raccoon is coming in at, like I said, 59 bucks, 14C 28N steel on, I believe, all of them. Let's double check that. Uh, yes, 14C 28N on any version you get, 3.25 inch blade length. And of course, you can get the button lock when it's available again or the crossbar lock right now. Um, just a excellent, excellent. This was one of my favorite knives, one of my favorite budget knives of the year last year. If you watch my Wayne Sharp, uh, Wayne Sharp World Knife of the Year Awards, you would have seen the raccoon on it. The ergos are great. The blade is super slicey. Um, it's just a fantastic combination of ergos, value, fit and finish, like, like most Vosties, but this one I think really does stand out, stand out amongst, uh, amongst a lot of the other ones. Excuse me, I'm still uh, still drinking the coffee today. We're still getting, getting it, getting it uh, fueled up. And I did not go to Central Michigan, my wife did, so in case anyone was wondering. But uh, there we go. That's the Vosti Raccoon coming in at number two. And that just leaves one spot. And I think everybody at this point knows what that number one spot is. And it's this beauty right here, the Vosti Thunderbird. This one came out last year. One of my favorite knives of the year. We are looking at, this is one of the very few knives. As of right now, this is the only knife over a hundred dollars that is still made and offered in the lineup. They don't make the uh, the premium nightshade anymore. So this one is coming in at a hundred and twenty nine dollars. But for that hundred twenty nine dollars, you do get S thirty five VN, so ink, uh, an improved blade steel over fourteen C or one fifty four CM, and you have three point four eight inches of blade length, and you have that phenomenal trek lock. And I tell you what, this knife here. This is easy number one for me. I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if the raccoon was going to get it or maybe even the nightshade was going to sneak up on it. But once I get this knife in hand, I even forget how much I like it. Because from an aesthetic standpoint, it is just an absolutely phenomenal design. It's, it's gorgeous. The lines, the blade grind, the handle, everything about it is just excellent. It's a perfect combination of aesthetics, action, materials, all for what I think is a very reasonable price. It's north of $100, but that doesn't mean anything. It uh, doesn't mean you're paying too much. I think $129 is a great value for this, um, and it, it lives up to everything. Phenomenal action, very fidgety. You can do all the things with all the parts of the knife to deploy the blade. It's just a great, great knife. It is unfortunately currently out of stock, but fear not, I am... Almost positive more coming. Vosti would be out of their mind to not make more of these. I, I will literally call Vosti out if they don't make more Thunderbirds. Vosti, I'm sure you're watching this. I love you guys. You got to make more Thunderbirds because people still really, really want them. So with that being said, there we go, guys. Number one, the Vosti Thunderbird. Number two, the Vosti Raccoon. Number three, the Vostaid, Vosteed Nightshade. Next up there, we have the Grind. And then we have the Valkyrie. And I'm going to run out of room because here comes the Gator and it's big AF. And then we have the Labrador. And then we have the Bellamy. And last, but certainly not least, I thought I was going to make it. I really thought I was going to get them all in there. And I just couldn't do it. 
But last, but certainly not least, we have the Fostine Core G. There you go, guys. As of right now, in 2023, these are all your Vosteeds, and that is the list of my favorites. Best to still good, but not the best. There you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of Vosteed. Let me know what your favorite model is here on the table. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.